I am playing some VR. Oh, I expect you to die. Uh, I just got a new gaming chair. It's really nice. Um, but motion controller. It's a nice one. Uh, if I record at all, you'll be seeing more of it. Next, I just need to get a green screen, and I'll be able to do everything that I need to be do. To do, to do, to do. Okay, so that's the death engine operation. We need, um... See the power. It's something called the death engine, and you must get more intel on it before it's put to use. We'll send it just outside Madrid to infiltrate a Zoraxis facility. Retrieve information on the death engine and get if you're wondering what this is, it's the button you just press toggles them on and off. They're now on in all of the puzzles, as well as this room. They contain interesting developer tidbits. For instance, the time frame with the art style you're going for was late fifties, early sixties. You know, the prime spire. Of course, we needed to fudge the technology here and there. For instance, Zor's retina scanner was conceived of in 1935, but the first working one wasn't until the early 80s. But this button and this radio are period specific. Alright, start. This is the mission I last left off on. I found out how to do it. I'll see if I can remember. Collection, but do try not to make too much noise. Welcome, Welcome Dr. Zor. You were so all alone. <laughs> Seriously, remember what you're doing. It's the There we go. So. Got it. And then they go flip, flip, right? Oh, uh, what else do I need to do? Wait, what do I need to do? Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. It's a pretty easy mission. I'm pretty sure I just did a speed run on it, though. Yeah, that ought that, to be the speed run. No, speed runs 50 seconds. We just have to wait for it to be decrypted. It's already in the door slot. Looks like the team in decryption is taking their job seriously. Unlike someone I know. Hey! <laughs> and then you go into this one. I'm gonna mess around on this one because it's fun. Revealed that the death engine is a weapon that appears to be, well, in Earth's orbit. You must infiltrate Zoraxis Space Corporation. We don't know where the weapon is aiming, but we must stop it before it fires. You took a pass-fail elective in astronomy, yes? Well, I hope you passed. Astronomy has nothing to do with space. Well, it does. But astronomy is the study of stars. Not the study of... <laughs> Dark matter. <laughs> Sometimes this leather chair hurts my touch. Mm. 
Looks really nice. Has the speakers too. Has the vibration pad and all that. It's really nice. Da -da -da. No see. I'll put you to work as soon as I can confirm your arrival with ground control. Wait, where is it? This is that engine commander Solaris. Clearance two zero R seven. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zaraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Okay. No, reverse, reverse, reverse. Thanks, my dude. Don't explode, please. Throw another one. You freaking jerk. Will indeed. Just safely throw the train towards Earth and nobody can get hurt. What have you done? We're both going to die. Goodbye.
Good luck and goodbye. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. So he says. Aren't you pickled? Stop, gotta go potty, speed run, oxygen is for the week. Dun 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 dun. You guys want some money? Stick it in the slot. <laughs> Stoop. It's a good amount. What is this? Ten thousand dollars? Can make any man happy. Or anybody happy in that matter of fact. But I got let me see, so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight thousand, eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, that can make any man happy. Um, but oh no, no, my vintage wine, it's aged for so long. <laughs> okay, physics. <laughs> you can put it in the t Oh no. I don't have a cigar, sadly. So it can burn, and it can also explode.
I'm gonna work in here. Break the glass. That sucks. Thought you might be able to like cock this down so you can't open it. That would be a really cool feature. Well, frick. Um. <laughs> One magician. Alright, so what you gotta do. Just gotta have it sit right there and have it closed. Just sit there. But yeah, I can light this without even moving it. Now it's moving by itself, it's gonna fly on over. Go all the way over here and light all these on fire. Then it's gonna down a level and light all of these on fire. Then down another level and light all of these on fire. Now I'm just gonna go from lighting those on fire throwing back towards me. Oh, I almost caught that. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a pivot chair. Wee. Wee. Burned the money. I'm rich. <laughs> I'm a detective for crying out loud. Alright, so... I don't know what smoking break is. I think that's when you smoke the cigar and then the other one's just guns away where you just fire on the way out or something. I've already sped run this one, so. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry and Dr. Zool's considerable awesome. Naturally, we would like to focus on it. Drive it off the path and we need to be more efficient. No. <laughs> You'll need to cut those wires, Agent. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick, tick. Frick, wrong wires. I know it's yellow. Is it yellow, blue, green? I don't know. We'll find out. I hear what he has to say about this. You may be wondering why this car can never be used. It has some of the most high tech weaponry in Dr. Zoom's car. Deploying secondary countermeasures. Ha <laughs> ha the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe oh, yeah, this is covered in basic training, yes? Oh, frick. Good ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, maybe please focus on getting the car out of the plane. Okay, go on. Oh, frick. <laughs> I lit it on fire. <laughs> Oh, 
the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe no ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, I'm joking, don't ever do that. I'm getting the car out of the plane. Like, um, physics. I've seen you do many creative things with a knife, but I don't think ten screws will be among them. Why not? Uh, why not? Money, money. Weapons offline. You can't press the mass reset either. Wait, I wonder what happens if I open this up, close it. Well, obviously, I can't put it out there. Well, that. That would have been cool if you could open up the door. Luke. Um, hold on the window, grab the screwdriver. Oh, there's a knife out there as well. Yeah, guys. It's always time to celebrate. You know what happens if you can you put that oh my god you can No put it in there Put it in the barrel Um we're gonna need to open that real quick though so So wait, we just gotta reverse it all the way. Drive. I should have got that smoking. So that means I'll have a cigar in here. Yeah. Don't know how to do guns away. A few of Zor's call phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces later shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hold because things are about to get hairy and dirty. Thus, the the need for the shampoo. <laughs> I never heard him say that. I landed it. The hint under is a hitbox. Yeah, the hitbox is there. All right, let's see where I hit. I hit right there. Dang.
I want to try to get a bullseye. Uh, um, you know, if I um, hold it and fire at it, oh no, it still goes flying. Ha! I got it nearly. Light it up, boys. <laughs> Wish I had two guns. I wonder if that's. I wonder if that's how you get the other gun. You have to somehow do guns away. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Sansa. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke it. Drop it off the bed, and you may just earn that vacation. Oh, I broke it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. No ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? That's the reset. Bop, 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 bop. Drive. <laughs> you deployed. No. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I want the gun. She says guns away, and I don't. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Shazam. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe no ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? You can't reload this, which I hate. Jeez, these are some resilient windows. Uh, 
Oh, frick. I didn't even put that in drive, did I? Yeah, who knows? I mean, I could have put in new shoes. Like. Does that count as guns away? Here, I need to do speed run flying saucer and then dapper beer. Bear, I'm gonna turn this on just for fun. <laughs> Although, I've already already listened to all these. So they tended to get stuck. Rather than caring about their own rules, they only cared about what the person in the hole needed next. Ultimately, we went with a mix of parallel and serial tasks we have now. Here, I'm gonna need to take this out real quick. Mm. like water ceiling windows and fireplace and skylights, but layouts that look great in white box can feel terrible in VR. During rapid white boxing, we normally test out the scenes with low fidelity baked light. The downside with this is that it's very hard to feel for what the scene will actually look like. To solve this, we started white boxing with real-time lights in a deferred rendering pipeline, testing that out in VR. When we were satisfied with the results, we pulled it back into forward rendering with baked light. I'm sure our tech artists got goosebumps somewhere with using VR and deferred rendering in the same sentence. Oh my god. Hello. Authentication failure. Deploying bear archer. Ye. Bear archer was one of the first phrases that came up with from the beginning of development on this level. It seemed that no matter what happened in design, we would end up with the bear as a key character in the scene that you interact with. There was also some discussion at one point of making the bear speak to you, where his mouth would open and that your voice would come from the ears instead of the computer system on the desk. But that was thrown out early on. I'm glad that the entity is still as entertaining as he can be, and quite scary if you don't know how to survive bomb errors. It's a flying saucer. It's just as we feared. Zor's new device appears to have the power to affect gravity. You must destroy the machine. <sighs> Oh my god, there's so many bottles of whiskey in here. Wait, I wonder. Yes! <laughs> it's like a rocket. Ah, oh, frick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Back to the office. Dapper. No! 
Kappa know how. Sit in here and just hot box, please. By doing this, we are able to maintain a fairly uniform reticle size. We position the reticle in this manner so that the reticle is at the same depth as the object the player's eyes are converging on. Not doing this causes a doubling effect on the reticle that is unpleasant. Oh, that's weird. No effect can go right here. Like, this effect doesn't work right here. There's like this square that it doesn't work on. See, it's on fire, but right here, it disappears. It's interesting. Oh no, my cigarette. A cigar. I'm gonna die someday. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed, I'm insane. I'm a little bit loopy. back guys
Um, everyone, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here because I got things to do, and I'm sorry. But bye.